Hey guys, it's Juno, and today we're going to be looking into how Sony messed up their gaming consoles like the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. But before I get into that, I want you guys to make sure you slap that like and subscribe button as that helps a smaller creator like myself out. So, if you guys don't know, Update 8.5 is basically the bane of anyone's existence on the internet. If you're using a PlayStation to do videos or even to talk to other people who you might just randomly meet and decide to play games with every day afterwards, right? So, let's get right into this. Update 8.5 is going to be remo removing the Community tab from PlayStation. And Communities are a very important part in PlayStation. Communities that have over 100,000 people in them are used to connect people for different sort of things. I'm in a few of them that have over 100,000 people in them. Granted, I don't use them anymore, but there's still 99,000 some odd people who use those on a daily basis. And when update 8.5 hits, that's all gonna be gone. Like, it won't exist anymore. Which sucks for the people who use those communities every single day. Like, it's gonna be bad. Now appearing on screen, there should be some images that I took of communities that will no longer exist, that have over 100,000 people in them, or just in general have a lot of people in them. Because a lot of these communities have tens of thousands of people who are actually in them. Some even have 100k, like the Brawlhalla one, or just in general, some of the other ones that are available that you can see on screen. All of those communities, right, are going to be gone. And I mean just gone. Like, they ain't coming back. Community tabs are gone. So, all those people you see there, yes, some are overlapping, but let's just t say on average that 75% of the people there aren't overlapping. So, in total, I think there's, well, there's so many communities you can't even count it, but there's so many people who are going to be losing their communities because PlayStation's like, yeah, no, we're not going to have communities anymore because, like, reasons. And I'm like, bruh. <laughs> That's not a good thing to do, because a lot of people use communities just to meet up with different people who play the game that they play. And then, the other thing they use communities for is to actually have giant group gatherings with people that, yes, they might not know, but even though they don't know those people, they are willing to play games with those people because they have the same games, sometimes they even have the same interests. Like, I know a couple of people that I met just online, I only know them online, and they are still very firm friends. Like, if you guys didn't know, I was in a GTA military community a while back, uh, we won't get into that, but a lot of those people I still consider firm friends, or online firm friends, or whatever you want to call it. But regardless, right? What Sony and PlayStation, like all those, what all that's doing is removing a huge part of connectivity with other people. Like, hell, next console I get ain't gonna be a PlayStation. If they're gonna keep on removing and restricting people to not being able to meet new people and being able to play with them unless you actually DM them in game asking, hey, are you interested in this, 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 and this? Like, that is just ruining your console. Like, hell, I'd even rather have the KFC console than the goddamn PlayStation right now. Like, Jesus. Because they're going to be removing communities. And then, wait till update 9.0. Because I bet they're going to be like, oh, you know those messaging things? Yeah, those are going to be gone too. Like, they're going to probably fucking remove everything. Like, you can just play games, no parties, no nothing. Like, holy fuck. PlayStation's going down the shitter and no one's fucking... I don't know. But, Sony's going down the shitter. And they're making everyone who uses their console suffer because of it. Because people who used to be able to play games can't play games anymore. With people who have the same interests. So, if you use your brain, then you'll see that Sony is technically removing a whole part of their gaming system. That is no longer going to be able to be used. The next thing I want to focus on with the Sony debacle is... How an update 8.00 took away 
the whole party system that we are so used to and so fond of. In that basically, parties are no longer safe. They still aren't. In any sense of the word. But now they're removing communities altogether. Which dicks over everybody even more. So I want you guys to think real quick. All my viewers, take a minute and pause the video just to think. I don't know if that was enough time for you guys to think because you clearly paused the video, but regardless, like, if you look into the details, yes, terrible things happen to cause PlayStation to remove the party system, but the community part, you can balance it. Do you want to know why I say that? There are terrible communities who are racist out there that are still on PlayStation, right? You can remove those, but leave all the normal communities up. You don't have to say, oh, because this community is doing bad stuff, all communities are bad, and we have to remove them all. Because from my source that I've heard from, being people on fucking Twitter, and also YouTube videos, they all say the same sort of base thing. They all say that the only reason PlayStation is removing communities is because some communities are doing bad shit. That's what I've heard. If you guys hear anything else, please inform me in the comment section below. Because I am always looking for new information. The next thing I want to talk about with this whole debacle is... How you won't be able to really meet up with new people who have the same interests anymore. Unless you randomly encounter them in a public session on a game. Like... There's very few games that have an in-game chat as well. So like for example, one of my favorite games right now being Remnant of the Ash from the, from the Ashes. Right? Ash, eh, English. <laughs> one of my favorite games right now being Remnant from the Ashes. Right. Really good game. Amazing quality. Ten out of ten. Right. Yeah. There's no in-game chat, so you have to actually create a party with someone using the messages. The other thing to do is use a community that you can find people to help you in Remnant in. But again. Half of that's going to be going away. Like, Sony, and like Sony, who's the owner of PlayStation, dick themselves over. And I will not just be like, standing by doing jack damn daily squat. I will voice my complaint to them. And this is my complaint. You broke your shit. You're not fixing it. Maybe try fixing this shit for once instead of breaking it even more because you're removing communities so you're removing a whole aspect from the system even more than you did before because you gotta, you gotta remember the the group party things you were able to join just by going into a community and now you can't do that anymore because it's so much of a risk then you have the good old fashioned we're removing communities part so it's taking away all that other aspect like it's fucking stupid like sony's just not being smart about this yes they're not gonna pro they're probably not gonna see this video i don't care like i'm just saying that sony fucked up and they should try to fucking fix their shit before their playstation 5 bombs and gets barely any fucking sales because no one's gonna buy a PlayStation 5 that's going to be basically a jack damn dilly piece of shit. Like, no one's going to buy the PlayStation 5, and everyone's going to probably be selling their PlayStation 4s for very cheap because of one specific reason. No community, so you can't even talk to people. Parties are basically limited to messaging groups, so you don't have that aspect anymore. And the third part, because... The third part is my favorite, and I'm going to get into that right away. You can't talk in games half the time. The only games that I know I can talk in are GTA, and that's basically it. Anyway, guys, this has been a 10-minute video of me ranting about the new uh, Sony bullshit. Anyway, this has been Juno, signing off. Also, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, because you know you want to. And plus, you can always change your mind later, because it's just a free thing. Anyway, I'm out of here. I'm going to go get myself an Xbox or something, because fuck PlayStation.